The biggest issue we have is to try to make sure that we're able to communicate and be able to be on the same page. With the civilian phones, it gets overwhelmed with the amount of traffic, everybody's sending a picture, everybody's texting, everybody's streaming live. It takes up the entire bandwidth. This little device was able to get through all of that without, without having to deal with what's going on on the field. So it was invaluable. Public safety's devices are all prioritized, especially in our primary categories, where their assets gain access to the network first. So you're standing literally in the front of the line, and from there you get access to the resources that are available to you. So we want to make sure that public safety isn't waiting behind a number of other users who may be doing any number of things, but those things are not public safety focused. Those things are nice to have, as opposed to the public safety need to have. And so the system is designed to let public safety cut the line, to functionally let them get to the front in order to do their job. Access priority you can think of as the highway. Well, if the highway gets congested, the first thing you do is you want to keep people off the highway. You can think of the highway on the on-ramps. You have the stoplights there, and then you kind of stop the commercial traffic, but public safety still has access to the highway. They have access to the network, so they can still get on the network. So you have priority access to the network, or as an analogy, it's the highway. And with access priority, we have a Cobham RAN load test tool, and in there, that tool is able to emulate up to 6,000 smartphones. And those phones can do text messaging, video, or voice calls. And we ramp those up, and at some point, there's a feature with access, called access class barring that triggers in and actually blocks, or tells the other users, go away. This network's saturated, don't keep trying to get on access this highway, go find another route, right? And so those, those devices will end up going out in the route. So we keep ramping up and then we bring in FirstNet users and we'll actually demonstrate that, hey, FirstNet users can still get access to the network. However, uh, commercial users are now told to go away. You can actually see a comparison of one user and another user in the same channel conditions, same device type, and in a controlled environment, you can see that, hey, these packets are prioritized over this with the same amount of resources.